It was a much broader ruling than expected, a ban on all federal funding for embryonic stem cell research, a ban that potentially freezes more than $200 million worth of stem cell research. This court decision means that millions of dollars that can be spent for stem cell research that can help potentially millions of people can now not be spent. Despite the potential of embryonic stem cells to become any cell in the body and treat the toughest diseases, the embryo is broken up in the process of taking the cells. This is what a federal judge now says is against the law. Citing an amendment to a 1996 congressional budget law, Judge Royce Lambert ruled the amendment provides that no federal funds shall be used for research in which a human embryo or embryos are destroyed. And this research necessarily depends upon the destruction of a human embryo. The ruling does not extend to research on adult stem cells and only applies to federal funding, not to privately sponsored research. Conservative groups called it a victory for life. As we've said for years now, all throughout this debate, you shouldn't have to destroy any human life for potential medical treatments. Most research groups, however, are angered by this ruling, pointing out that a half million embryos are in storage in in vitro laboratories and will probably be destroyed anyway if not used for medical research. The administration did not react in time for this broadcast, but an appeal is likely. Katie? Wyatt Andrews in Washington. Wyatt, thanks very much.